Hey y'all, I barbecued last week, uh, I cooked a few pork butts and a brisket, uh, I got one of the pork butts uh, we're going to have today, and a brisket that I'm going to cut up, I'll show you it later. Uh, right now, for this little party I'm having, we're going to cook us three big old slabs of uh, pork ribs that are cut up St. Louis style. And uh, I like them trim St. Louis myself. Yeah, I bought them that way. I don't like cutting them up like that. You know, it takes a lot of time. I just don't like cutting spare ribs up. And you pay quite a bit extra though for them that way. Look down here, I'll show you these ribs here. See them down there? Yeah. I got three big old slabs in there. And what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take and wrench them off because uh, right across where the bones are, they may be bone fragments. Uh, when you're washing them, run your hand across the, the, the bone part and, and you can feel if there's any fragments, you could kind of wrench them off and rub them off of your hands. So what I'm going to do is wrench them off, trim up a little bit, like see we got a little bit of fat here. I'm going to just trim a little bit of that so I can get some more rub into that part right there. Now right here, you got a little bit, just trim that off. And so that like, the rub will penetrate a little bit more into them. So let me uh, get them ready, and uh, I will show you uh, the rub that I'm gonna put on them, and how I put my rub on them. I got the pit warming up; it'll be ready in about 20-30 minutes, and we're gonna get them on there. Here's one part I'm gonna show you about these uh, spare ribs. I wrenched them off already, but I want to show you uh, how to take the membrane off the back. So you can get more rub into the meat. Some some people don't mess with it, but it's kind of chewy, a little tough, you know, if you leave it on. And I don't like chewing on that part, so I, I go ahead and uh, I take that membrane off. Look down here. Scoot up there a little bit. I can, you can see it a little better there. There you go. What I do is here's a, I get me a, um, a knife or something. Some people use a screwdriver, and you count up about three bones up through here, and you get it underneath. I already got it loose with this. So I just wanted to show you how I do it. I just get under there and kind of pry up and down on it, and then get on the back side there, and then they do the same thing. Then you can get your finger on it there. See like that, and just pull up with your fingers. Look at that. See how it come up real easy. And uh, take a paper towel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work it on up to the front here first. See how easy that come on? That yeah, might make a liar out of me here. See, I might not even need a paper towel. Look at there. No paper towel needed. And just go ahead and pour on up. There you go. Don't need that. Now sometimes you need a paper towel. It helps you grip it, pull on it a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rub these uh, pork ribs down with a little bit of mustard, not a whole lot, just a little bit. Helps the uh, rub stick a little bit. You get a little bit more rub to them. I'm using a Texas uh, Barbecue Rub.com original rub again that I used on a, um, my pork butt last week. It's real good stuff. So we're going to use that on there. I'm going to get it all on there and show you. Um, how they look after that. So hang in there. I'll be back. Alright. I got a couple of them uh, racks uh, done down here uh, with the rub and the mustard. Mustard. See right down there? See them look pretty, don't they? They look pretty fine. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. Now see this rack over here? I'm getting ready to finish it up. I'll show you how I do it. I got the mustard already on. Not a whole lot. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the Texas Original Barbecue Rub on it. Go ahead and sprinkle it on there. Rub it on there real good. Break it up, clumped up a little bit. 
but that'd be all right. I just rub it in. Try to get it on the sides too. Up on the side. Flip it over, get the back side there too. Yeah, wrench my hands. Yeah, don't be afraid to put too much rub on it, it won't hurt. Quite a bit of it will cook off. Put some more on the back side, like that. Rub it in there. Try to get it on the meat on the end, fat. Get, get it on the sides too if you can. Yeah, on the sides. Bust it up, stick it and rub it on the sides. Rub it in there. Yeah. That right there, see? Don't that look pretty? All right, we're gonna get these out on the smoker here. It's ready to go. It's up to 275. That's what I like to cook my ribs at about 275 great temperature. And uh, we're gonna cook these ribs till they're done. Shut up, dog. Now we're back. We're outside now. I'm getting ready to put these ribs on. They look pretty good. Check them out there. See? You got the gator all ready here. We'll put them on. That's around almost 300 degrees. We're going to let it cool down a little bit to about 275. That's where I like it. Look at them ribs. They're cooking already. Is that the same rub you put on the butt? Uh, yes. Similar? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not the one that was on yours, but the one I put on mine. I, I use my rub on yours. I got to, uh, I got to get that recipe off of you, man. I got yeah, to, I'll get it to you. I got to do another one of them. Yeah, we're going to leave mine there for a while and we'll come back and check. All right, I'm uh, getting ready to make the red slaw here. So, uh, I'm going to show you, uh, what I do to make my red slaw. Uh, it's that Lexington, uh, North Carolina style slaw. It's really good. Look down here. See everything down there? There you go. Alrighty. Uh, what we start is here is a, uh, it's about a pound of uh, cabbage and carrots finely uh, chopped up. That's uh, about six cups. And what we got here is a got about a half cup of ketchup, maybe a little more, and we got a uh, little under a half cup of uh, cider vinegar uh, that's going in there. We got about a quarter cup of turbinated sugar, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using kosher salt, and uh, one. Uh, teaspoon of black pepper and then we're using some Cajun powder garlic pepper sauce there about a half a tablespoon in there so I'm going to throw it in here uh, like I said we've got about six cups of cabbage and carrots cut up fine it's all going to go in there so uh, I'll start with this put the vinegar in Get the ketchup in there. And 
and get that all in there. Let me uh, get everything put in here and mix it up, and um, I'll have the red uh, slaw ready. So uh, you really want to try this. Uh, it's different. Some people might not like it, but uh, it's real good. What I consider barbecue slaw that goes real good with pork. All right, here's uh, where I got it all mixed up. You can see down in there. It's mixed up real good. This is really good. You're going to like this. After you get it mixed up real good, put your lid on it. Stick it in the refrigerator for an hour or two. It'll be better that way. All right, I'm back out here. Uh, I, I got some beans I got ready here, some uh, baked beans, uh, Allen brand. Real good. You don't have to do anything to them, tighten them up or anything. They're going on the smoker to get some smoke in them. They'll be real good like that. Here, I'll show them to you over here. There you go. There's the Allen, Allen brand baked beans. Maple cured bacon in there and some onion. Some good stuff. Look at that. They're good. Believe me, you don't have to mess with them. Just, just uh, put them in there the way there. Here we're getting, we'll get back in the pit here, over here. Uh, there's them ribs after about uh, hour and 45 minutes. They're looking real good. See that piece up at the top here? Let me get that out of here. Come on out of the bar. Look at that. I'm going to put that in the beans. That's going in the baked beans. And then the beans are going on. So let me get the, the beans on there. And then I'll, I'll get back with you. I'll show you when I foil my ribs. I'm going to foil them for about 45 minutes or so and let them tender up a little bit. And then take them out of the foil and I'm going to put a glaze on them. Uh, Texas rib candy and some uh, pineapple habanero Texas pepper jelly. Real good glaze. Ain't, ain't no finer pepper jelly than Texas pepper jelly. All right, I'm back. I'm out here. Uh, we're going to foil the ribs. Uh, they look pretty good. Check them out over here. Check them out over there. Yeah, beans are coming along real good. I'm going to foil them down here. There you go. When I got the Texas rib candy from Texas uh, pepper jelly. It's good stuff. You ought to try it. That's the apple habanero. And I'm going to do some of them in the pineapple habanero pepper jelly. Good stuff. By the way, get the ribs off there. Can they really see it? Right down here. Yeah. What I need to do is turn um, this away. Get it full like that. I'm going to put a little apple juice in there, not a whole lot, just a little bit, as they make their own juice. Just a little bit like that. Alright, I'm going to foil that, foil that up, put it back on there, get these other ones done that way too. I'm only going to keep them on there for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then I'm going to take them back out, warm them up a little bit, and then I'm going to put the rib candy has a glaze on there and uh, pineapple habanero for a glaze so uh, I'll be back shortly alright I'm back out here I got these uh, ribs down here uh, they look done uh, I'm gonna put them uh, put that Texas pepper jelly on oh except one look at that look down there Look good, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to put that glaze on them here. So, uh, I'll get with that. I'll, I'll show you how they look with the glaze when they're done. 
All right, I got them ribs uh, ready here. I got that glaze on them. Here's a shot of them right here. Down here, I cut a couple of them up. See right down there? And there's the other ones over there. On, they're still on the grill. Look at that. Yeah. They look pretty with that glaze. And that's what I put on them here. Texas Rib Candy. Apple Habanero from Texas Pepper Jelly Company. Good stuff. Check them out. Now I'm going to go in there and get the rest of this stuff ready. I got the brisket cut up, the pork uh, butt pulled, and um, I'll lay in a plate here and show it to you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you do, and uh, there will be more videos to come soon. I'll see you then.